welcome to my RPG Maker VS8 video tutorials, episode 8, I forgot to change the 7 to an 8, and this episode I'll be covering the database, basically just going over what each tab does, and without any further delays, let me set my time real quick to 10 minutes, um, stop one for can go ahead and set that to 10 minutes. So without any further ado, and I hope that's not to be at the end. Welcome minutes. again to my let's Okay, that would basically give me a general welcome idea when to, to stop the video. Okay, VSA I've already opened up the database, but if you want to know how to open it up, you basically just go to tool, database, or the shortcut key F9, or you could also hit this button right here. Okay, the first database tab is called actors this is where you create your main character where you create the party members and those where you create the um, party members and the actors and give them their initial level what class they're gonna be their nicknames their initial level the max level the weapons they start out with what their graphics look like and what their face graphics look like in class which is there's some new things to the class um tab in this that's not an rpg maker vsa and that's the perimeter curves regularly on rpg maker vsa the perimeter curve used to be on the actors tab but they changed that and put it in the classes tab so classes is basically where you create the classes that you have in your game like soldiers warriors thieves samurais witches monks ninjas if you want and this is where you set what level they get skills, like the level 5 they get this skill, level 6 they get this skill. This is where you set their maximum HP, their maximum MP, their attack, their defense, how much defense they gain each level, and where you set the features that make them different from other classes. And ESP curve, and that's basically how fast the level and how slow the level, and then you get to name the class. Skill tab, this is definitely where you create your skills for your games. I don't really need to explain anything about it, you just create skills. Um, each section, I'm just going to be going over what they do, but I'm going to be making an individual video for each tab, so look forward to those. Items is basically where you create the items in your game, key items, um, healing items, damaging items, potions, herbs, collectible items, anything that's not weapon armor related that the player just uses. Weapons is where you create your weapons. You get to um, as you get to pick what weapon types you want and stuff like that, and then make a weapon and then pick the weapon type you want. You can make swords, axe, um, bows, and other type of weapons. And this is where you make your weapons. You pick the graphics and what they look like. Just as, the interface is um basically the same as potions, but a little bit is changed up, like the bottom over there. Um, armor is generally the same thing as weapons. The only difference is that it's called armors. And they get to be equipped in different slots. And that's basically it. But everything else that you can see is basically the same. You get the same perimeter changes. Um, except you don't have animations. You have body type and armor type. And the price, which is basically everything, is the same. Um, enemies, this is where you create your enemies that's going to be in your game. But once you create your enemies, they're not going to be in your, in your game. Or you can't put them individually in your game. To do that, you have to go to troops and create the troops that you want. That means you put your enemies together. You could have one enemy in one troop, two enemies in one troop, up to, I think, eight. Let me test that out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, up to eight troops. So, basically... You can't put enemies individually by itself as soon as you create them. You have to create a troop, even if you want just one enemy to be in your game. You have to create a troop of that one enemy to be in your game. States are the states that your character could be in, like poisoned, confused, um, immortal, death. Yeah, that's actually a state. Because when you have the state death apply to you, that means your character is dead. So this is where you create your different states that you want in your game. Animation from battle animation to animations that are show the maps for like special cutscenes and stuff like that. This is definitely, definitely where you create them. Okay. 
up to Townset. Townset um, is basically the groups of towns that you want to be using for any individual map. So you you could import your own town sets or use the default town sets like I showed you in the previous video. Basically, you just fill out these information with the town sets that you want it to be and then you compile and then after you finish setting the different settings, you save it and then you pick the town set and it will show up on your palette and your overworld map. Common events is the events that run throughout the whole game. I said, well, not throughout the whole, like, not run throughout the whole game. That could be applied in any map. That means if you're in this one map, you could have the same common event affect you in the other map, unlike regular events, which only affects the map that they're in. So a trick that, um, that you could use is make an event one and in one map and then make an event one in the other map and then make make the common event in effect only event one that means when you're in that map it's going to be affecting that event one but then when you move on to the next map it's going to be affecting that event one so yeah i'm going to be going through i'm going to be sh um clearing that up when i'm doing the common event video so system this is where you pick your initial party system change the game title pick your currency um options that you want the game to have like ko by floor damage that means like when you're touching the floor that hurts you like poison floor you you lose damage and you could die bad that by that music that means the music that you have on your title screen your battle screen at the end of battles when you die when you enter boats when you enter ships or airships um sound effects meaning like every single effect that you could have in the game like the cursor effects the cancel effect this is where you set those sounds starting position you could Starting positions, you can set these on the map and not from here. And uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And then finally, title screen is basically your title screen. Draw game title. Yeah. Terms. This is where you set the terms that are going to be used in your game. Like, if you, let's say you, um, that's a level system in your game. And you don't want it to be called level. You want it to call, you want it, to call it something like, um. Battle, no, I don't know. Let's say you want to call the, you want to call your level iPod. So you got one iPod. Every time you level up, you get one iPod. Your level, your iPod one, your iPod two. I just looked at my iPod and, and got that idea. Or you want your HP to be called something different, like life, um, life point. Or you want to make your MP something different, like, ma uh, okay, that's it. Um, like, um, uh, let's see, what's another. I don't know. Basically, you just set what you want your stuff to be called. If you don't want your attack to be called a tag, you could change what that's called. You could change what your weapon is called, like gear, armor. Actually, armor, gear, weapon. I don't. I just. I, you set the um what you want them to be called. When you're in a fight, you could um click on attack. I mean, you could make it fight, or you could make it engage, escape. You could make it run away, attack. You could make it kill the enemy uh, actually yeah guard the block you can change that to block items you can change it to whatever you have in mind of changing it to and and skill types and armor type that's actually where you set your skill types which is going to be applied right here so you get the choice to you could make it as many skill types as you want and then like Make it so you could use magic only or special attacks, which doesn't involve magic. Armor types this is the way you set your armor types. General armor, you could name it whatever you want. Weapon types, the same elements, also the same. But the elements are mainly used for like um, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, like thingy. That means physical is stronger than absorb. Absorb is stronger than fire. Fire is stronger than ice. Ice is stronger than thunder. It's not really. I'm just saying it in order. So you could make it like that or vice versa. Um, whatever you could make it whatever you want. Like, you can make dark uh, stronger than holy, or holy stronger than dark, or wind stronger than earth, but fire is stronger than wind, and holy is stronger than absorb. You could, you could make it whatever you want. It's not really that, I'm just naming it randomly, so. You can name what you want on your title, over, over here's your title screen, and you can name it whatever you want. Like, new game, you could just put, um, start game, or 
start adventure um continue you could change it to load shut down you could change it to exit to title you could change it to exit to title cancel you could change it to cancel that's what and that's basically it for the database and i am 100 percent mad that my thingy did not run out oh okay i still have i still have some t- minutes so well that's basically it for this episode um next episode is gonna be making a hero which is gonna be mainly me on the actor um, database and my time is up thank you guys for tuning in this saturday november 10th 2012 and i will see you guys very shortly because i'm making a video back to back until i get to like episode 17 if i can peace